go, another Clarendon. And um, Fiona's driving, I'm holding the camera. 6.30 in the morning. 6.30 in the morning and we're off to Salisbury. Yeah. Have a stoke for another Clarendon. What have you been organising today, Jen? We've just got up, well, we sorted the toilets, so we've just put up the road signs. Just put up the road signs, perfect. The nearest ones, yeah. You've all worked out your timing so that you're going to arrive at Winchester after 1.30, haven't you? There's no fast runners sneaking in here. But... So we're in Laverstoke today at the start and it's looking absolutely brilliant. Um, although it is slightly overcast, the forecast is for it to be slightly cloudy and 21 degrees, which is the hottest we've ever had. The hottest I remember was about 17 degrees. Uh, we did all set up yesterday. So yesterday there was um, a whole lot of teams. We were putting signs out. We put out about five, 600 arrows, plus lots and lots of other special signs. It all went fine. I didn't have any car punches this time, etc., etc. Everybody made it. Um, in fact, we had a lovely lunch at Broughton, uh, like we do, and I managed to get home by 4.30, so I was really, really pleased. So that's all good. Um, today we're anticipating probably that we will have about 1,050 runners completed, which will be the highest we've ever had, which is great. And um, I've just been welcoming some of the people in who are the regulars that um, I've met over the years, which is always, always good. We had some early walkers who set off about uh, 30 minutes ago, so they're already on their way. Uh, the first buses arrived. There's four buses uh, coming, pe bringing people over from Winchester. Uh, so that's quite a few. And then there's also some people who have parked here in Salisbury and then they'll take a bus from Winchester back later on. So some of the people who are much slower runners, they're leaving early and we allow staggered starts. So they basically, they can work out their fastest time, then they look it up on a table and that tells them the earliest that they can leave. Because the idea is you can leave early, but you shouldn't arrive at the finish before 1.30. So the person who wins the race, so to speak, we want him to come in first, so to speak, and then everybody starts coming in afterwards. We have found with the staggered starts that it brings people together. So most runs, you start off together, and then as you sort of um, pace along, the people in front of you are disappearing in the distance, and the people behind you are disappearing, and then you end up sort of doing the whole run on your own. With all these staggered starts, half the people are going on staggered starts, it means that they work their times out so that they arrive at the end at a similar time. And what's great as a runner is that as you get into those last couple of miles, you suddenly start to see a lot more people around you. You find you're catching up to people, and people are overtaking you. And then when we get to the finish line, um, there's a lot more buzz and a, a bit of a, a village atmosphere. So the staggered starts, which we initially started in COVID, um, we've kept them, that works out really well. So half people take the staggered starts, the other half people, half the half take the main starts, which is 9.30 and 10.30. It's, it's the most comfortable thing to run in after 25 marathons. It's, uh, it's warm in the cool and it's, uh, it's, it's the right temperature when you want it to be. My name is Anne Smith and this, uh, the task I undertake is to arrange the start and coordinate the start of the marathon, making sure that people have got pins and tags and most importantly the race numbers. Uh, I've got a team of volunteers both inside the building um, and outside to ensure everybody's uh, dealt with as speedily as possible and they can get off without the minimum of I've worked hard this year to make this my 200th marathon so that we can probably celebrate it and promote the race as well. Uh, I never thought I'd do one marathon, let alone the sheer amount of time. <laughs> it's just nuts. Ready? We're ready. 
<laughs> what are you hoping to do it in today then? Uh, six, six hours. Oh, yeah. Six hours. Six, six hours. And have you, have you walked a, a, a marathon before? Yeah, we walked and run it before. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. jogging and walking sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Aaron, what's the plan for today? Uh, same as every year, to uh, have two road on the on course. Um, got two sport cars out today as well. Um, we'll have the trim centre up at the finish, ready for everybody gets up there. Yep, yep. And, yeah, yeah. Excellent, just excellent. Keep them sporting. I think, I, I think we, we do this every year, but so far we've never had any major problems, have we? No, fingers crossed. It's always been, we've, we've <laughs> managed, well, we've managed, I think we managed to scoop people up before we run into real quick problems. Yeah, definitely. I can't tell you how great it is, JJ. Well done. Fabulous every year. Yeah, and the team, and the team. <laughs> and the team. Yeah, well don't, done, don't the team. Say, don't say it's all me, it's the whole team. <laughs> <laughs> This is my friend Di, who's a regular Clarendon runner. I am, I love How the many Clarendon. Have you done? How this many have you is done? My, I think this is my fourth, fourth or fifth, yeah. Well, but what's special about this one? This one is special clue. because it's my 100th marathon or ultra 100, so I'm, I will be joining the 100 Party marathon the club today. Party it's at the end. It's going to be fantastic. And you, put, you brought the weather with us. Okay, so you're running with a dog. Wow. I am. This is Myla, and she's run it many times, but this year she's only doing a quarter. She's getting a bit old. George is, uh, is my son, so unfortunately George passed away in 2016, just after being born. So after that I decided to run, run the Clarendon, and luckily I've got good friends and family who run it with me every year. So it's going to be our eighth year running it this year. I'm Sophie and I'm running for Love Christmas. It's a project run in Southampton out of St Mary's Church where we are raising funds in order to buy gifts for those in need at Christmas who are isolated or lonely or might go without and also for those who are like single parents that have no one else buying gifts for them at Christmas. This is my first marathon, yes. <laughs> Gosport Runner, Road Runners are a great group of people. We love Slugs. running up very muddy hills, <laughs> which is why we decided we'd come to Clarendon today. It's the first time we've had three teams, but quite a lot of our members have done the marathon or the half marathon before. We have Runfit Fording Bridge. We're a social running group uh, for predominantly ladies, although we do have a men's social running group as well. Uh, all ages, all abilities, everything from run and walk all the way up to long route runs. And yeah, today we've got five teams, we've got 20 runners, we've got two marathoners, and really looking forward to it, it should be good fun. My name's Hannah Henderson, and I'm running for This Mum Runs, who are based in Winchester. Um, we're a, a voluntary organisation, um, a, a group who get together two or three times a week to run in Winchester and in other local communities across the UK. It's basically a, a fitness group that aimed at getting mums who, you know, sometimes struggle to go running because of the childcare commitments um, and also, you know, trying to balance work and, and trying to juggle childcare. So we get together two or three times a week to run and there's a team of four of us running from Salisbury to Winchester. <laughs> I'm going to the Prospect Camps in 22, so when I've seen you last year doing it, I knew I'd camps with it. Yeah, well I'm done. Do it. Yeah, you got to go for it. Go so for this it. this year, camps are free. Yeah, perfect. Well done. Yeah.
what's the plan for the day? Oh, run, run, run. Run, yeah. <laughs> get to the end. Get to the end. And raise money for something else. Yeah. So how many of these have you done now? Oh, it's been six. Six? Very good. Have a good time. Lovely. I'm ready to go. And what, what time are you hoping to do it in? Sometime between four and four and a half hours. It was our lockdown project. Oh, right, and okay. ever since then, we've been doing half marathons, but we thought we'd come back and give it a go and do the whole one again. Yeah, do the whole such lot. a lovely course. 46 marathon today. Yeah. It's my second full Clarendon, yeah. and I've done a Clarendon relay as well. Perfect. running for the lovely teams that I work with at Southampton Hospital. Um, it's a paediatric rheumatology team and it's Children's Day Award. So I'm here raising money for those two um, lovely, lovely teams that I work with. And um, I'm really, really excited to get going and uh, hopefully make it to the finish line.
okay, I'm enjoying it. It's quite warm today, but um, my daughter's team haven't caught me up yet, so we're halfway and we've held them off. So yeah, good. So look forward to uh, seeing well, you at the finish. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Lovely support from my friends, which is good. Kirsty, you're finding a number there. They all know they've got, probably got a bit mixed so up awesome. actually. I'm sorry about that. I'm nearly there. You'll find it. Yeah, thanks for doing this. A really, a lot of the people really appreciate getting a quick tea or a coffee before they start. And we've got biscuits as well. Yes. Excellent. It's great. We're doing well. I like this. No queues or anything like that. Super organised. That's what we like. I'm Mark Robinson. I'm organising, or at least attempting to organise, the uh, registration at Broughton Village Hall for the half marathon. So far, my one nightmare scenario has worked out. The bus is parked up the side of the Village Hall, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, registration is proceeding quite smoothly. We've just had a busload arrive, so there's a bit of a strain on the system. Reminded to self we need some bigger signs with the numbers and the initials uh, next year. Um, but the runners are in a good mood, the temperature seems quite fine, a little close I reckon, but uh, no, I think it's going to be a great day for the runners because there's no real direct sunlight, so uh, probably perfect conditions. The number of runners have set up, set off rather reasonably early, and I think we've got a steady flow going through, but I, I just sense there'll be quite a lot of people starting off together at 20 past 12. Are you looking for the start? You're I looking am. for the start, you know where it is. I do, number It's just four. down that way. See you soon, JJ. Yeah, we'll see you, I'll catch you up. Thanks, bye. Good luck, JJ. Have fun. I've been doing Clarendon for oh, 10 years or so. Yeah. So, when Lottie's our half marathon runner, par excellence, she's yeah. doing like one, almost one every week. <laughs> no, I've, I've been running for two years now and I've done 25 and one. 25 half marathons and one full marathon for the first one. So this will be my 25th, I think. <coughs> and you've done loads of half. Yeah, this is my fifth Clarendon, so... Uh, yeah. Oh, fifth Clarendon. This year I'm uh, going to be doing the half, starting from Broughton, running back to Winchester. Uh, I'm a member of Winchester Rotary and have enjoyed helping JJ and all the other volunteers set this event up. And um, it's proving as popular as ever, and we're looking forward to seeing probably over a thousand people out running this weekend. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot to buy. In 30 seconds, everybody, 30 seconds. Well, it's possible, it's about the only thing I can do. Here it is, what is over? Excellent. This big hill just round here. You'll love it. Big three with the it's hills. Third year in a row. I always get the short straw. You'll love it. <laughs> I'll see you at the end. Okay. Good rest. I'm a bit tired. Okay, Judy, how's it going? It's going all right. Yep. My feet are a bit tired, my legs are a bit tired, but we'll get there. Diabetes. Yes. Oh, well done. How much money have you raised so far? Uh, nearly £800. Pounds. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I'm chuffed with that. Well done. 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 Well
Yep. Yeah. Of the of the last four years. So I've completed it all now yeah. with relay screen. Oh right. So, well done. Yeah, so That's all right. I've completed it. I can say I've completed the Clarendon Marathon. The leg one, two, three, yeah. four. You've run a whole marathon. Yeah. Yeah, well done. Four years, but four years. I've done it. <laughs> Hey Christina, how's it going? It's Ace. Ace, hiya. Here we go, we've got Search and Rescue Water Station. So you're doing leg yeah, three. Yeah, we're doing really good. Good. We're doing really good. I'll let you crack on. I'll catch okay. up with you at the end. You're going, okay. you're going too fast for me. Thank you, Marshall. That's great. It's a good race so far. Yeah. Well done. You're bombing along. Yeah. I'll catch up with you at the end. Well, have a good one. Bye bye. There we go, Alexander. Well done, guys. That's it. Off to Killer Hill. Get an action shot then. Yeah. <laughs> Steep is better. It's a beauty.
we're on Killer Hill it's and we're still running, so we're doing well. I'm not sure it can be classified as running. Well, sort of, sort of run. A stumble. It's great. Carry on up. <laughs> Thank you. Well done, everybody. Go, go. We're doing well. So, how many have gone past Robert? Loads. Lorna, we're doing well. Yes, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Very much, JJ. <laughs> so, how did you manage to get stuck with leg three? Uh, I'm actually doing two and three. A two and three? So, I think two wasn't mine. Yeah, yeah. But I did it anyway. And then three's mine. So, yeah, I don't know really. Uh, I just said yes. You just enjoy it so much. <laughs> How's the rest of the team been? Oh, uh, good, yeah, good. I had a good first 10k with my youngest. Yeah, excellent. She did really well. Right, how's it going? It's good. We stopped for a bacon sandwich. Steak and sandwich. Sunborn. Well done. <laughs> that was very nice. And now I'm on the last bit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> on to Farley Mount. Yeah, enjoying it. On so you go. Well. Catch you up there. Thank you, Marshalls. Yeah. How many years is it now? Quite a few. Quite a few. Quite a few. You're doing really well. Yeah, yeah. I'm running, but I forgot to put my race number on. Well done. Well done. On this way to Winchester, six miles to go.
to say this, guys, but you're in, you're in a race. You're supposed to be running. What's the situation? It's a little rest. Okay, James, how's it going? How's it going? Um, honestly, it's tough. I'm feeling it. It's harder than I remembered, harder than I thought it was going to be, but it's totally wonderful. And what an amazing organisation. Beautiful spot. Best race in the world. Thank you, JJ. Hi, everybody. Hi there, hi there. Hi there, Helly. Hi there, Dave. Doing well. Ace. Hey, Alex, how's it going, Alex? Yeah, yeah good. It's only four miles to go. Yeah, you done the uh, you're in the full the half. Oh, full. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. What time did you set out? I uh, left oh, nine, about nine. Nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Set on we go. Well done, Dorsey. Go, go, go. Mel, how's it going? Well, I'm still going. Yeah, good, good. You're cracking yeah, your logs. Two kilo miles I'm worried about. Yeah. Hang on in there, I'll see you at the end. You'll be yeah. well ahead of me. I'm Andy. Andy and Phil. Phil, uh, how's it going? You enjoying it so far? Yeah, good yeah. On the half. I'm joining in here. Yeah, well done. <laughs> That's Everybody's what I like. Good. Winchester this way. this morning as well oh. yeah yeah because she was doing the it's doing a half marathon isn't she she she's met us at the halfway point oh yeah for some so, lunch oh right okay for some yeah. lunch yeah. very civilized this yeah. time yeah <laughs> needed a snack break we're doing well so who talked you into running this you did yeah <laughs> you meant to be about a month ago well done <laughs> thanks for coming it's great <laughs> Three miles to go. 
on your 200th marathon. Ace, any thoughts? Um, amazing feeling, really nice. Uh, yeah, I've got to myself. <laughs> How's it going, Janet? Good? Good, yeah. good, good, excellent. That's what I like to hear. Oops, here we go. Thank you. Go, go. Good time, you're going to get to do a good time? Uh, kind of expected, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well but done. I haven't walked too much of it, so I'm pleased with myself about that. I did a hug for two miles, so you grab hold of it. Thank you very much. Yeah. One mile to go. We love it. Right. We're in a race. We better go. Yep. What is the actual story of this magnificent shirt, Richard? This was the first Clarendon Marathon from Winchester to Salisbury. And you were in it? Yes, 25 years ago. You're an antique. Yeah, I'm an antique. You're doing history. well. You're looking very well for Thank your you. age. Thank right, you. Right, we better get going. Thank you, JJ. Going. So how's it been so far then? It's been brilliant. It's my favourite event. Good. It's just so friendly. How many, how many have you done before? Uh, just the one. Just the one. Yeah. Very good. But yeah, you're feeling good. of any kind. So. Leg one. Amazing. Loved it. Beautiful. Leg two. Fast and furious. Brilliant. Loved it. Leg three never gets any easier but really enjoyed it. <laughs> Leg four got the easy one. The nice and she and blew it. Really great. Thanks so much. Thank you. It's nice and comfortable. Yeah, it was lovely. How many times have you done it? Uh, this is my second time, but uh, I only did the five mile. Uh, wait, this is the fourth year that I've done it. So I've done every single leg now. Uh, we did a uh, relay team, all of us. The marathon was brilliant. Organisation was fantastic. And we ended up with an ice cream and burger as well. So we are really happy. <laughs> Glad it's finished. <laughs> Made it to the end. <laughs> very tiring, some long uphill slogs. But super well organised and very, very nice. We just finished 217 for the half, which was roughly what I was hoping for, a little bit faster. And now I'm in the queue for cake, which I'm definitely looking forward to. Yeah, it was really good. The first three miles were lovely and I steep hill towards the end which was tough but I enjoyed it. Great run. So I've just run the, um, the full Clarendon Marathon 
which is absolutely fantastic run because it's, it's so scenic as you uh, as you run along there. And there's always loads of people to chat to, people with you know, stories to tell you, and the whole thing is just really well organised. So it's a great run, and I'd highly recommend it. Uh, it was pretty tough. Uh, yeah, I found the last third particularly difficult this time. Oh, it went really well. It's a beautiful course, but I, I did quite. I, I went quite slowly, so uh, I wasn't kind of trying to get a PB or anything on this course. But it's a beautiful course. Yeah, it's just a bit, a bit back yeah, the room, yeah. uh, Just took a tumble on a downhill. <laughs> Amazing, loads of marshals, amazing food, amazing support along the race. It was just a really lovely day. Yeah, brilliant. Went quickly. So uh, about halfway round uh, on the half marathon, we saw a lady in front of us who just went down for like a ton of bricks. Um, obviously really badly hurt herself and um, we realised quite quickly that she probably fractured her shoulder. Um, so obviously we just stopped to help her keep her warm. Luckily there was another guy as well who was an A&E nurse. Um, so between us we managed to look after her and, and get help and leave her wrapped up and warm. So uh, we just hope that she gets to hospital and is okay. Well, that was absolutely excellent. Um, I've had to disqualify myself, unfortunately, because at the start I forgot to pick up my race number. So I ran the whole thing without the race number. <laughs> but other than that, it worked out really, really well. We made it. I mean, when we spoke to you at the beginning, you, you did slightly worry us that we'd chosen this as our first marathon. But we did it. Yeah. And for a good cause, so we're happy. So thank you. I was quite slow, I'm recovering from flu, but it, it just saw so many lovely people out there today and everyone was so, so supportive and kind and uh, some people asked me, Tommy, I look good for my age. <laughs> uh, and others just said, yeah, well done for doing the marathon. So it was, yeah, a very special day. We're raising money for Motor Neuron Disease Association. So my grandfather passed away from it when I was eight and we wanted to run one marathon, me and my dad, before he turned 60 in April and I turned 25 in May, so we did it. I've survived the parent and half marathon. Okay, I'm not going to do it again. He wanted me to do the marathon, not a chance. This was a beautiful day, but really hard for me. It, running's not my style, not that distance. I've run lots of four, but I really want to get around to motor neuron disease. My brother's wife has got severe motor neuron disease. She can't do anything for herself anymore. It's really tragic. And so far I've raised three and a half thousand pounds, and I hope it's going to be a lot more. But thank you to all my supporters. And I'm glad I've done the event. Just thank you. Sort a half marathon, got one out of 57. I was pretty chuffed with that. It's a PB for me. It's been He's a tough dying. day. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, but no, it's been a really fun day. Uh, definitely didn't get 157. Um, but yeah, no, fun day. Uh, tight calf muscle, sore feet, and uh, looking forward to a warm bar and a burger. I knew I was dehydrated, I was getting gut issues. Um, the legs lasted, didn't get any cramps, but then I did take it easy, didn't rush it. But it's, it's a big milestone, isn't it? 200. 200, yeah, yeah, when I said I wouldn't even do one. <laughs> Here I am, just addicted to it. <laughs> well, may I say this is the first year I've attended this marathon. And I think it's absolutely brilliant. It means ever such a lot to Winchester and the district, may I say. And also extremely well organised as the competitors are coming in. They're saying, well done, brilliantly organised. Everybody's been fantastic. So what more can we say? And long may it last. I think it does an, an awful lot for Winchester Rotary. Uh, I, I've been standing here this afternoon and I've been standing with the Mayor uh, and she attracts people over uh, and the competitors as they cross the line, they get a drink, they get the banana and they come across, not unmasked but individually, they come across and they congratulate the club on how well the event is run. 
really well organised. So yeah, thank you very much. It was uh, really good fun. I enjoyed it. It's my first one. So yeah, first one. I'll be back. Jennifer Durden. Jennifer has just.